son was a pioneer in this activist group, Anonymous. He had been running the secret server and someone had dropped off a file. That's the day that everything changed. He's got some crazy information that they did not want out there. And I thought, we're dead. We decided to fight this together. Where can you go to protect yourself from the United States of America? Every step of the story is from some secret shadowy world. Mexico, Russia, Canada. We were surveilled the entire time. Is this just people being paranoid? Or is the system really out to get them? Rick Hong here for Hollywood First Look. Today, I'm with director Sonia Kennebec, and we are talking her movie, Enemies of the State. What was it about this that, that drew you to say, I want to tell this story? I've known about the Magic Heart story for a really long time. I, I was in production for my drone um, whistleblower documentary, National Bird. And one of my sources told me about Matt DeHart and said that he had worked with military drones. And I started looking into his, his story. And back then the family, I believe, was still in Canada. And I, you know, I started reading some of the court documents and spoke to my producing partner about it. And we realized pretty quickly that the Matt DeHart story is it's so complex, complicated, all the twists and turns of it. And, and it just, you know, from the beginning, it, it was intriguing to me because of all the, the secrecy surrounding it. So is it hard getting access? Because not everybody always wants to be, you know, like wants to tell their story. Or they don't always feel comfortable or sometimes they don't even trust people, especially in this one, as you unfold the whole thing, trust is a big issue. It's about so much more than, you know, just this one single story. It is about trust, you know, parental trust and love as well. Um, and then overall, it is about the truth and, um, and all the layers, you know, of, of, you know, personal truth and memory and, and um, yeah, and contradictory information with, you know, introducing the DeHart family. And, and they were very open to sharing their story and and that's you know one of the reasons i think why in the previous coverage of the story it it wasn't showing the full picture mm. because there, there are different interpretations of the story and very different and contradictory perspectives and it was really important for my producing partner Ines hofmann and i when we did our research to to try as much as possible to share the different perspectives and interpretations um, and, and, and really dig deeper. So you as the filmmaker as well, I was trying to figure out if you see yourself kind of going back and forth about what to believe and who to believe and who to trust. Oh yes, I mean, for, for us as filmmakers, this was an extremely challenging film. Um, you know, throughout production, when you know we we interview our our um, lead characters and they are emotional and 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 you can see that they are very upset about their experiences and it it does impact us as filmmakers as well you know we are human beings and we have compassion and then we would you know get access to the prosecutor and the investigator and and they have an entirely different perspective. And they are talking about, you know, the victims and the victim's families of the child pornography. And, and so, you know, and are, you know, just as um, emotional about the story as well. And so it, for, for us to really reconcile these contradictory um, statements and 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 constantly, you know, the switching perspectives. It, it was it was challenging for us, and and we have until this day we still have a lot of conversations within our team because each and every one of us, you know, of our small, we an independent, you know, um, small film film crew, and and we we do have different interpretations of what had happened, and we we still discuss it, and it's it's really you know for me this film. Um, yeah, really is, you know, my commentary on 
sort of the world that we live in nowadays, you know, where we are faced with, you know, really condensed information, with false information, false narratives, conspiracy theories, conspiracies that turn out to be true. Um, you know, so, so yeah, I think, you know, it, it's, it's, it's become very difficult for us as human beings to navigate this world now with social media where information just spreads so quickly and it's also really limited and it's opinionated and kind of how to pierce through it and find the truth in in such an environment and that for me is what this film is really about the movie is enemies of the state you can find it in theaters and on demand until next time i'm rick hong and you've been watching hollywood first look truth does not matter something's fishy this isn't over yet when i saw what was on the drives it all made sense <laughs> <laughs>